Hey everybody, it's Wade and Ryan here. NFL in London. It's week 14. Dude. Holy crap. It's already it's gone Christmas. by so quickly. It's December football. What's better than December football? Nothing in the world. It's better than Christmas. It's yeah, amazing too that the, the standings that we have right now, because the AFC is a real battleground right now. The yeah. NFC, kind of over, especially the Bears getting blown out. We got a lot of seven and five teams. Yeah. A lot of people looking to sort of get separation you know at the NFC North. The only thing is, it's because you have the uh, NFC South, which is like that dumb kid who's bringing down the average oh my God, of the whole the class. Slow could, other than that, yeah. this is the most competitive season I think we've had in years. So I actually think I'm excited. December football, my bills are in it, so let's go. Let's, let's start it's a lot of good picks. teams. Let's start the first game we're going to look at. Seven and five, two teams, seven and five. Baltimore Ravens at Miami Ooh. Dolphins. Ooh. Miami is favored by two and a half. Miami has been notoriously strong at home, but Baltimore, who used to be a defensive team, now have a wicked offense. And Joe Flacco was playing the best football of his career. What do you well, think of this? Best football of his career. Well, best, best, football, ratings, so it's it's be, best ratings. Actually, this is going to be a tough one because. Um, last year Miami was kind of in the same position you know they had this chance that an easy schedule they lost to the Bills they lost a bunch of games in December and kind of blew their playoff chances so they're kind of really afraid of repeating this thing and I think Ryan Tannehill has actually been impressive this year I hate to say it this has been the best year of his career he's kind of like kind of taking away the worry of everyone in Miami about having a quarterback. So I actually believe that Miami, with that defense, they're actually playing better. I actually think Miami's going to win this at home by two and a half. That's only a field goal. I think that's a safe bet. Right. I'm going to go Miami, but my heart's Baltimore because I'm a Bills fan and we're both 7-5. and five. So let's go Baltimore, but pick Miami. See, I'm going to disagree because I think that, uh, you know, Tannehill, the only weakness in terms of Baltimore has been showing lately on the defense is deep. Deep ball. Yeah. And my, Tannehill can't throw over 20 yards. And so I think that they're going to have a problem in that, look, they got Ray Rice, who's an amazing, what? Is he not playing? No, Ray Rice is, <laughs> you got, he's suspended, I he's, believe. Oh, some, I don't know. Something, something, happened. something happened. Oh, he knocked me out. But the, anyway, so I think that the, the Baltimore has an offensive tools. They've got Flacco. I think Flacco's more mobile than, than Tannehill is going to be no, in this I week. I don't know about in that. This one, in, this week, in this week, I think he will be, because I think mm -hmm. the Baltimore defense will be all over him. Tannehill usually can run around. I don't think it's going to happen this week. So I see Baltimore right, coming alive on this one. Although Miami is really tough Jesse, at home. I hope you're right. To be honest, I, I don't mind being right. I'm looking forward to these AFC matchups, and I think that Baltimore has the ability to win the AFC North. And uh, you know, Miami is obviously playing to try to basically keep up with Buffalo. Uh, and, and to you know, you've got to get number two now because no one is taken down New England no. unless you're Green Bay Packers, exactly. and it's very easy to. All right, so we got one, we got one Miami, one, one Baltimore. Baltimore. So there that's we go. it. We'll see you Sunday at the Hippodrome Casino.